Ready for another deep dive? This time, we're taking a look at Endless Refrain. They're an Australian rock band, and I swear they're basically a music factory. Get this, they release a new song every single week. Every single week. Yeah. And on top of that, they've already put out 10 albums this year alone. Endless Refrain is seriously in a league of their own. Wow, that's some serious output. They must have incredible dedication to their craft. Absolutely. And they've got this really strong online presence, too, connecting with fans, experimenting with new tech on platforms like Sound.xyz. But let's get back to the music, specifically their 10th album from this year, Octagon. 10th album this year. You heard right. Octagon even has a bonus track because a fan asked for it. Now that's how you build a fan base. For sure. OK, so on this deep dive, we're going to focus on two tracks from Octagon that really highlight their lyrical depth. Agape and You Were Always. Both fantastic choices. Yeah. Agape especially uses this really powerful metaphor to explore love or maybe even the struggle to feel love. Like imagine you're watching a foreign film, but without subtitles. Okay, yeah. You can see everything that's happening, all the emotions, the looks, the interactions, but you just can't quite grasp what it all means. Right, you're missing that connection. Exactly. And that's the feeling I get from Agape, that sense of being so close to love, but unable to actually, I don't know, access it maybe yes and the way they use that metaphor weaving it throughout the entire song it just pulls you into the woman's experience you really feel that struggle she's going through you know it's like she's on the outside looking in watching love happen but not knowing how to be a part of it it's brilliant songwriting and honestly i think it speaks to something universal don't you think that fear of vulnerability the walls we put up it's like the lyrics go beyond just a romantic relationship, you know? Mm. They're tapping into these deeper insecurities and anxieties that so many of us face. Absolutely. And then you have the he in the song. Yeah. He represents this love that just won't quit. It's like he's determined to break through her defenses, to wash away her doubts with the sheer force of how he feels. What kind of love is that strong, that unwavering? That's where the title comes in, right? Agape. It's a Greek word, and it's often used to describe a selfless kind of love unconditional, totally focused on the other person. Like, real talk, it's the kind of love that sticks around even when it's hard, even when it's rejected. And that's exactly what we see playing out in the song, right? You nailed it. He doesn't give up, even when she pushes back. His love is just this constant force, always there. And the way Endless Refrain uses this whole extended metaphor throughout the entire song, it adds so much depth to the idea of agop. It makes you think about it in a new way. And that's what I love about their songwriting. They're not afraid to tackle these really complex emotions instead of shying away they dive right in using metaphors and these vivid images to make you feel it all on such a deep level so we've got this incredible picture of agape in action with agape but then endless refrain takes us on this different kind of journey with you were always are we still dealing with agape here or is this something else entirely i'd say it's definitely still agape but maybe we're seeing it from a new angle like if agape is about romantic love you were always broadens things out it's more about this universal yearning for connection something bigger than just romance i hear that even the music feels different you were always has this atmospheric vibe almost ethereal like we're being pulled into this really introspective headspace yeah. Picked up on that too, huh? And the music really fits with the lyrics. It all points to this really deep spiritual longing, a searching for something more. And it's subtle, but it's there. Especially in that recurring image of empty eyes. Oh man, those empty eyes. That image really gets to me. You can just feel this sense of emptiness, this void. And it's not just about missing a romantic partner, is it? This feels much deeper than that. Right. It's like being totally disconnected from something larger than yourself, like this need for fulfillment that nothing on earth can satisfy. Right. What I think is so cool is that, but the lyrics absolutely nail that universal feeling of searching for something bigger. It's so true. And the singer, the I in the song, they're this constant presence in the middle of all that emptiness. Like they're trying to fill that void, offering comfort, even when it seems like no one's noticing. Exactly. It's like they're saying, look, I see your pain. I see how much you're hurting. And I'm here. My love for you is unconditional no matter what. Yeah. That, to me, that's a Gadib in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. This love that just won't quit no matter what. There's that one lyric. It gets me every time. They sing, when the love letters I write wash away in your river of tears, when I pray for you day and night, I'll be with you for all your years. You could try to shut that love out, drown it in sadness, but it's not going anywhere. I love how you put that. And 
The imagery Endless Refrain uses there, it's brilliant. They contrast these fleeting love letters getting washed away with these constant unwavering prayers. It perfectly captures what's so powerful about agape, you know, mm -hmm. that unwavering, enduring love. It's like those prayers are this bridge, you know, mm -hmm. reaching across that emptiness, this really real tangible expression of love when everything feels hopeless. Endless Refrain is so good at capturing those raw, vulnerable emotions. It's personal, but it also feels universal, you know? Totally. Like, they're tapping into something we all experience. That need for connection, for love, for something more than just the day-to-day -day grind. Something I've noticed with these two songs, they both have this back and forth between someone offering love and someone who just can't accept it, you know? Or maybe won't accept it. It gets you thinking about the different ways people give and receive love. Such a good point. And there's longing on both sides, don't you think? The person giving love wants to be loved back. They want to know their love matters. And the other person, maybe they're holding back. Fear, insecurity, all those walls we put up can make it hard to let love in. They're both figuring things out as they go, trying to deal with those huge emotions, those vulnerabilities. And isn't that what life is? Figuring out how to do relationships, how to understand ourselves, mm -hmm. how to connect with other people on a deeper level. An endless refrain. They're right there with us on that journey providing the soundtrack. A soundtrack that's both deeply personal and totally universal. So true. As we wrap up our look at Agape, and you are always, I'm kind of stuck on this thought. Endless refrain, they pour their hearts out week after week. It's incredible. Where do they find the inspiration to keep going like that? What keeps that creative fire burning? Passion. Dedication. It's inspiring, really. Yeah. But also, maybe comes down to tapping into those shared experiences. The things we all feel no matter what. Love, longing, searching for meaning. Endless Refrain takes all of that and turns it into music that speaks to something deep inside of us. They're reminding us we're not alone, right? Yeah. That someone out there gets it. They speak the same language. Exactly. Music can bridge that gap, connect us in ways we never imagined. For sure. We've definitely come away from this deep dive with a whole new appreciation for Endless Refrain's lyrics. But here's one last thing to chew on as you keep listening to their music. We talked about the person giving love and the person receiving it, but what about the songwriter? Where do they fit in? Are they observers? Participants? Maybe a little bit of both. Keep that question in mind as you explore the rest of Endless Refrain's music. Until next time, happy listening. <laughs>